Hi, my name is Latrice Crawford, and I'm the building coordinator for Indiana Gear Up at Purdue Polytechnic High School. Today, I will be talking about the transition process to college. So you've done your college research, you've decided you're gonna attend, you've picked your university, and you are ready to explore what college life is like. Today, we'll discuss some of the big differences from high school to college. So adjusting to the college life, what does the year look like for a college student? There's three semesters. There's the fall semester from August to December, which is 16 weeks. There's the spring semester from January to May, which is 16 weeks. And then there's a summer semester from May to August, which is around eight to 10 weeks. Not all students attend during the summer. It is completely optional but it is a way for you to finish faster for students that are looking for more of an accelerated track. Here is a sample college class schedule. If you look here, you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And one thing I want to note about a note is if you look, you have Hospitality 102, you have Comms 101. All of the classes are 100 level classes which mean those are all college classes that will deem you credits towards your degree. Those are the classes that we want 100% of students to test into um, so that they won't spend a year in remediation. Any classes that fall under the 100 level are classes that are remediation classes and they will require you to be in school longer. So 100 level classes and above count towards your college degree. There's a drop and add period in college. That period is at the beginning of the semester where students can drop and or add classes to their schedule without being charged a penalty. You absolutely do not stop showing up to a class without dropping it from your schedule. You may be charged for a class regardless of your attendance. So if you sign up for a class and you never go and you don't drop it, you will be still charged for that class. College is a business, so you will still be charged. It can hurt your GPA if you are making um, bad decisions in regards to dropping and adding classes, or if you, let's say you just don't show up to the class, you'll get a failing grade and that will hurt your GPA. So you always want to check with your advisor in the bursar's office when you are considering to drop or add a class because you want to make sure that the decision you make will not negatively impact you. Adjusting to college life. These are some things that are very important. Um, you may wonder what your week will look like. Your week will depend a lot on what classes you choose, but most classes meet either once or twice a week. Full-time students typically take 12 to 15 credit hours per semester, and usually that works out to be around four to five classes. Study habits. You want to make sure that you establish good study habits because the classes in college are more advanced. Majority of grades are from exams and projects, and you want to make sure you are managing your time wisely. A rule of thumb is you spend two hours studying for every hour in class. So if you have a three credit hour class, you need to study at least six hours. I would say a huge piece of advice I would offer to students is to make sure that you manage your time wisely. That was something that I know myself I struggled with um, initially when I was a freshman in college and I struggled to keep up with the pace of, pace of college and I couldn't balance when it was free time versus when I needed to study. So one piece of advice I always offer students is to make sure that you are managing your time wisely. So you, you want to play, but you have to work hard and then you can play hard. When you get to college, you want to make sure that you can get involved is in, is in things that will interest you to keep yourself entertained. You want to make sure that you are asking questions. There will be a lot of information in the student 
student centers that will have different clubs, intramural sports postings, student council, um, study group postings, volunteer opportunities, work study opportunities, and you want to try to network and meet as many people as possible. And that concludes this section of transitioning to college.